morning world. Happy Friday. Ryan and I are having a whole breakfast tour today. <laughs> Not really, just two stops. We started off with some Dunkin' iced coffee. And, because I just discovered they have decaf iced coffee, so I'm thriving. And now we're going to this new bagel place called Pop-Up Bagels that I found on Instagram and I sent it to Ryan. He's like, oh, I've been like four times. It's on Thompson. The bagels are super, super fluffy. They don't do like egg sandwiches. It's just like schmears. Apparently they have locks too. But I'm so, so excited. At UGA, where Ryan and I went to school, there was an arch. A lot smaller than this one, but there was an arch. <laughs> and you could not walk under it until you graduated. And we really like did it. Like some people would accidentally walk under it and then they'd go like re-walk under it to reverse it. We never did until we graduated, but we always say like, oh, we're in our, like right now we're in our sophomore year of New York, right? Yeah. That was like a joke, kind of. But we are, so second sophomore year. year, second year. And we're like, should we wait to walk under it until we graduate New York, whenever that is? But also, I've definitely walked under it before, so. I don't really walk under arches, though. It's just kind of a habit at this point. It is kind of a habit. It's like, oh, we should walk around the arch. We grew up, <laughs> grew up. Went to college, not doing it. It's like a ladder. The fountain's going. There's like no one out right now. It's a lovely thing. The park is so calm. I love this Friday already. It's a good start to the day. Okay, so apparently this is what the cool kids do. They walk over to Blue Haven because it's closed in the morning and they sit. That's what Ryan tells me. So we would literally walk in and they're like, hey, you want a bagel? And he just threw me a bagel. I hadn't even ordered yet. <laughs> so this is a salted bagel. It looks so fluffy. They didn't have butter. Yeah, they only had hot honey butter. I like honey butter. It smells spicy. But spicy? We said hot honey butter, unless it's warm. Um, but, so the point is, they're just like so blurfy. Like look how, oh, <laughs> look at that. We are back now, that bagel was so delicious. I actually had two, because they're like so small and you like dip them. Highly suggest. Does feel weird. I like haven't had a bagel with just like butter in so long. I usually get like bagel sandwiches. But in about 40 minutes, I'm doing a sculpt society workout with Bridget and then the instructor Katie. I'm so excited. I love when they ask us if we want to do a sculpt society workout because it's mainly online. Um, but they'll like host classes sometimes. So I was very excited. But with that, I need some electrolytes in me. So I put some element in my athletic greens. Two very amazing beverages, um, but I feel like I'm not hydrated enough. So this just kind of kick starts it. Good morning, girls. Hello, hello. We're in the new little Sculpt Society studio. Big things coming. All right, workout was amazing. Just showered in my Brooklyn and robe. It's lunchtime, and this is pretty heavy lunch to have, but I just worked out, and I'm like so hungry. And this is what I was gonna make for dinner tonight, so that way I already will have it done, so I can like heat up more later, or I feel like there's a chance I could end up going out to dinner, and then I'll be mad that I had these ingredients. So let's just make it for lunch. I talked really fast just now. Bonza chickpea pasta, marinara sauce, homemade, gra or homemade, no. Organic, 100% grass-fed beef meatballs. Say less. I also have broccoli to make. <laughs> it's just so much work. But I should. Ugh. It's so much work. But I need to. Because I love broccoli. Lazy Girl's Guide to um, cooking broccoli. Because I just don't feel like dirtying another pan. Put the broccoli in a microwave-safe dish or bowl some water on the bottom. I put some garlic and olive oil on top. The key here is the saran wrap. Cause basically I'm like gonna steam 
the broccoli in the microwave. My mom's boyfriend, who was a chef, taught me this. So yeah, I literally just pop this in the microwave for like three to four minutes, depending on how. I don't like my broccoli al dente. I want it soft. Oh, forgot I was cooking meatballs beforehand. The meatballs are done. In they go. Broccoli is done. Whoop, she's hot. Look at that steamed garlic broccoli. I'm about to get a facial. Oh my god, it smells incredible. Look at that. I'm just gonna mix the uh, garlic around a little more. You might need to drain the water. Yeah, there's a little water on the bottom, but it's perfectly soft. I'm gonna add a little salt and pepper, but we are good as gold, my friends. Lunch is served watching one of my favorite movies that someone reminded me about. Someone was like, you should watch The Choice. And I was like, wait, what is that? <laughs> I've read this book and I've watched this movie so many times. I love it. It's on Netflix. If you like Safe Haven, if you like Endless Love, it's that vibe. So cheers. Okay, lunch is done and it's time to make my bed. I want fresh sheets for the weekend. And it's mainly because I just got the Brooklinen Organic Hardcore Sheet Bundle. I love anything Brooklyn and you guys know Brooke and I have a bundle with them, a gals in the go bundle that includes this robe, but I'm going to go revamp my bed because I just got this and I'm so excited. I love that they have organic sheets now. How epic. So if you guys didn't know, Brooklyn and is a luxury sheets company creating high quality home goods to elevate your home. My whole home is full of Brooklyn and I have towels. I have robes. I have shower curtains. Like I love Brooklyn and. I chose Brooklinen for my home when I moved to New York because I wanted good sheets that I'm investing in that are not only going to last a long time, but they're going to get softer which each with each wash, which was very important to me. I mean, that just makes me excited to wash my sheets. Like I, you guys know in my vlogs, I love my reset days where I clean my sheets because I just know I'm gonna have even softer sheets every time. I also had this realization, like you spend one third of your life in your sheets, like in your bed. So why not have some good darn sheets? They don't just feel great, they also look great. As you guys know, I literally feel like I'm getting in a hotel bed every single night. So if you're curious about the organic sheets, they feature a breathable 300 thread count weave for that timeless hotel style luxury that I was talking about before. These are also perfect for hot sleepers. These sheets will help you stay cool all night. So my boyfriend is going to love these. <laughs> And as always on Brooklyn and you can mix and match with your colors. They have 20 plus colors, which is amazing. I always go for white. Actually, that's a lie. I do pink sometimes too. It's a little pop of pink. So you can really not go wrong. And I always suggest buying the bundle instead of buying everything individually because you save 25% off by purchasing a hardcore bundle, which includes the core sheet set, extra pillowcases, and a duvet cover. Shop for your Brooklyn and organic hardcore bundle from the comfort of your own home. There's the ability to mix and match over 20 plus colors and patterns for the organic core sheet set, the extra pillows and duvet cover. So it's super easy. You can pick like, oh, I want this color for the duvet cover, but this color for the sheets. It makes it so easy. Bed is freshly made. Duvet cover is on everything. It looks amazing. I'll keep you guys posted on how my sleep is tonight. And if Ryan's a hot sleeper, we'll find out if he finds it even cooler. Ugh, I just love this like sleek white look. You can use my code Danielle C for $20 off over $100. Thank you, Brooklyn, and for sponsoring this video too. I've still got my movie on as I'm cleaning, changing sheets, tidying, just putting things where they're supposed to be. This is the candle that I'm burning right now. It's the Capri Hotel Lobby candle. It smells so good, very summery. So we're gonna put this hat where it belongs. Oh, I love fresh sheets. <laughs> um, this is my little hat holder over here. It's kind of a big piece of furniture to only hold my hats and belts, but I like it because I cover up a ton of random stuff back there. This is my next project of the day. It's not, it's going to take 10 minutes, but I was washing in my last vlog all of my bikinis and letting them air dry on this here ladder. 
and I keep all my bathing suits up there and I was just too lazy to put them up so I just threw them all down there and then like last night when I was getting ready for something I was trying on pants and I just threw them down there and I was like I'll get to it it's kind of like when you have the chair but my chair is clean right now you guys my chair is not chairing actually it is chairing there's no clothing on the chair but we're gonna clean all this up and put it where it belongs because I just know it's the start of the weekend. I'm going to be picking out outfits all weekend, and this is going to get higher. So let's start from the base, okay? In progress right now. I'm listening to Peyton's podcast. The floor is clear. Now I just have to hang everything up. So we're doing well. This wasn't that bad. There was only a couple things. It's just that's all bathing suits. done that was easy okay tidying and emails have been done so now I want to I want to like create <laughs> I want to create <laughs> I'm done consuming I am ready to I want to make a reel or like a tick a reel with like about all my favorite jewelry because I get so many questions so if you don't already go follow me on Instagram at Danielle Carolyn um I got my root like I went more bronze, but I feel like my hair is still blonde, so I actually booked an appointment. I'm going back and I'm getting even more low lights. Are you guys proud of me? Like, I feel like my hair is confused right now. It looked really good when I left. Anyways, I liked how it looked when she curled it that day, so we're gonna curl my hair. Um, so here are the products that I'm using. It looks so bright in here. Dry bar curling wand. I don't curl my hair a lot with short hair, so I don't use it a lot, but when I do, it does the job. Uh, Tangle Teaser hairbrush. I love this thing so much. Just put a, some Vegamore dry shampoo in my hair. This stuff smells so good. Everything from Vegamore. I literally DM'd them. I said, you guys need to get a candle. <laughs> so I just put dry shampoo in my hair. And then I'm about to do some heat protectant with the Dry Bar Hot Toddy. And then a claw clip to separate so I can do it in layers. So let's curl my hair. curled it's still like everyone says it looks good short curled but I like don't know how I feel like when I curl it with a curling wand I need to learn how to use the curling wands with the clamp or the curling irons with the clamp because that's what they always use at the hair salons I just like don't know I'm, I don't think I'm good at curling my hair I'm good at curling long hair but short hair it's like you gotta only curl like half of your hair so it's like a little wave like a little blip in the hair strand I don't know I don't know. I did it, okay? <sighs> Alright, many hours have passed, you guys. Ryan and I are gonna do dinner and drinks and then maybe meet up with some people afterwards. We're going to Ludlow House because we didn't have a reservation for anywhere, so we're just gonna go there. Um, top is Meow. I've worn the same situation in brown because I just love the monochromatic look. It's The top is chopping. Pants are Abercrombie and Fitch. I haven't worn them in a minute. Wearing black booties, which feels weird for summer, but we're in New York, baby. Bottega bag and off my normal jewelry. job and one job only. 
to get us a taxi. Will he do it? <laughs> you got this, Ryan. Guys, he is all the way over there now. I have a major ick right now. I can't, I can't. in New York City is back to normal which is exciting very thankful for that and praying for everybody that is in Canada and experienced the wildfires it's absolutely terrible Ryan's still asleep um, but I had to get up because I'm going to brunch with Delaney and her mom Ugh, the Sun feels so good gotta love that morning Sun Last night was seriously so much fun. Um, we went to Hair of the Dog because I just love dancing there. Like, they have the best music. However, I do feel that I was the oldest one there. Um, <laughs> apparently, a lot of the summer interns are here now, which is awesome. Go off. Uh, but, like, one of my friends met up with us, and this guy started talking to her, and he was 21, and we're 24. So, it was just, you know, that vibe. But we were there till like, 1.30, and it was so fun, and then came back and went to sleep. So... Uh, yeah, drinking my coffee. It's my hair is a mess, so I have to slick it back. What can I say? I love an excuse to slick back. And I just put on this dress from Skims. I think I'm just gonna wear this. I don't know. It's kind of boring, but it's comfortable and it still looks very put together, especially with the slick back. And I'm gonna go in my room and put on some hoops and some more jewelry. Um, but yeah, and then I'm just gonna wear sneakers. But I think it's, I think it works. Delaney's mom is in town, like I said, and I love her so much. She's like a second mom to me, so. And they actually met up with us last night to go to one of the bars, um, and it was really fun. But you can't really chat in there. So I'm going to the Restoration Hardware restaurant and meatpacking with them. I'm so excited. I love that place so much. And Delaney was like, do you want to come? Like, I made a reservation for three. And I was like, yes, yes. I love that place. So I might have to leave Ryan. He's still asleep. He's just sleeping. Slept amazingly in the new sheets last night, I have to say. I felt very cool. I didn't wake up sweating, which sometimes I do if there's someone else in my bed. So that's always good. I'm not like a hot sleeper, but sometimes if there's someone else in there. So I think that's good, right? Okay, here is the final fits. Bring in this bag. So I'm gonna drink a water on the way. <laughs> Cause I did drink a lot last night. Added all the jewelry, pretty much the same jewelry as last night. I love these bangles from Jenny Bird, you guys. Bangles are it. And then I work put on my Reebok sneakers because we talked about walking the Highline after, so we'll see. But yeah, happy Saturday. Weather's beautiful, air quality's good, can't complain. Such a lovely morning. I just came back. It's 3 p.m. now. I showered, I washed my hair, but I'm gonna go to Dry Bar and have them blow dry it because I have a membership there, so I have blow dries for this month. I really haven't been going to the Dry Bar since I got the Air Straight from Dyson. It's amazing. But I feel like someone, I feel like getting my hair done today. So I just wash my hair because I like my products better, um, like my shampoo and stuff. And I've been having to use head and shoulders lately because Chick Girl's flaky. Um, but yeah, I'm just wearing an Outdoor Voices exercise dress. I think I'm just gonna wear my orthotic flip-flops because they're comfortable. I'm currently reading On a Quiet Street, so I'm gonna read that while I get my hair done. And yeah, we just had like the best morning, so I'm definitely like hitting a wall. 
and we're going to Gov Ball tonight. I don't even know if I said that. Gov Ball tonight. So I need to wake up. I might go get a Coke. Like, I want like a nice ice cold Coca Cola to drink. I love walking around with dry cleaning like this. I feel like the scene in Something Borrowed at the end when, if you've seen that movie, she's like walking with her husband's dry cleaning. And I got me some Coca-Cola. I was literally falling asleep in the chair a dry bar. Uh, I could sleep right now, but the party must begin. Kelly and I are going to go fall tonight. The MLV gave me tickets, which was really, really generous. VIP, last year I had general admission, so. Big upgrade, very excited. Brooke and Ben are going as well. I wanted to bring Ryan, but he just like doesn't appreciate Odessa. So, um, and Kelly loves Odessa, and we haven't been able to hang out a lot. So it'll be so fun, I'm so excited. So we're gonna go, I'm, we're gonna figure out my outfit. I'm gonna do like chill vibes. I kinda need to like get ready now. I just asked for a straight up with body. I didn't even ask for flipped out ends today because my hair is longer, but it's just kinda naturally flipped up. Um, yeah, got my some of my grease stuff dry cleaned. I feel like my life is together. But yeah, I'm just gonna clean up a little bit, tidy up, and because Kelly's gonna come here and we're gonna go to the festival together. I guess I have to like activate these wristbands or something. But the first few sips of Coca-Cola really do. I keep saying Coca-Cola because it weird it's weird saying Coke. My Coke. I don't know. It sounds like a drug. <laughs> Now. Okay, here are my two like outfit ideas. Govball is definitely more casual than like Coachella, um, but I think it's fun. Everyone still like dresses up in their own way. I just want to be comfortable. This is what I had in mind. I love this top. I wore it in Greece as well. It's by the Line by K on Revolve, or not just on Revolve, but um, I I just love this. And then I have these white local European like cargo pants. I thought this would be cute with my orange Nike Dunks and my orange bag to tie it all together. Was feeling it. I just activated the wristband. Or I have these new tops that if you follow me on TikTok, you would have seen. They're from Urban Outfitters. They're $35 each. They look really cute on. It's like an asymmetrical top. I got it in black and white with my tried and true good American baggy jeans. I wore these jeans last year to the festival with like a belly chain and it was really cute. So I'm gonna see how I feel on this, and then if not, we're gonna go to this. Or we'll try them both on and see, I don't know. Okay, here's option one. I absolutely love it. Of course, like I didn't notice, but there's like a little stain here and like on the back. So I don't know if I, wa I really hope I didn't wash these before treating these stains. I don't really know. Um, but I do, I do really like this. I mean, it's just like an all white moment. It's nothing crazy. I mean, I guess I could add my belly chain with this outfit maybe i don't know if that would be the vibe but that's like a possibility um and i definitely feel very comfortable in this like i can dance to odessa um but i might as well try on the other outfit too okay i just love this top so much i went with the black one this is definitely a really cute and effortless vibe i wonder if it looks like weird with the super baggy jeans though i can't tell hmm Okay, then I also have these cargos from Cynthia Rally that I just got. I forgot that I got them. And they have like gold detailing and even more pockets. And I paired it with the white tube top. However, like this part's double lined, but this part isn't. I don't know if that like looks weird. I just love this vibe though. I'll try on the uh, white tank with these pants. Okay, this is also very cute. And there's no stand stains on these pants. Oh my god, I don't know what to do. I think this might be my favorite so far. Hmm. Actually, I feel like I like these pants better because it's a little bit more simple. Okay, now I'm going to try the white asymmetrical top with this, these pants, and then we'll have a decision. Ugh, I don't hate this either. It's kind of like a vibe. Okay, F it. I'm just going to take pictures and send them to Kelly and Brooke and ask which one I should wear. Okay. I've decided on the final fit, the one I had always planned on. Would you look at that? So yeah, um, this bag is from Urban Outfitters, and then I've got my orange dunks on. I like it. I'm comfortable. I think Kelly said she's wearing like a dress and cowboy boots, so we're going to be like totally different vibes. But it's going to be so fun. I'm so excited. 
Hopefully I don't spill anything all over myself because I am in all white, but I'm really happy with the fit. Prime example, Kelly said, do you want a coffee? And I said, I'm good, I've got Coke. She goes, cocaine? I go, the Coke in question. See, you can't say Coke anymore, I swear. <laughs> I've got my buddy here. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. We're on this uneven path. You guys, all the wood. No, we're very scared, can't lie, but we'll get there. We haven't done though, we're excited. We are so excited. Kelly played us some Drake in the car. Yep. Because we were like, I mean, we're gonna listen to Odessa later, so I might as well. That's the thing with concerts. I'm like, do I listen to that person all day? Yeah, I don't know. Then, Sometimes I like to get in the mood, but at the same time, I want that surprise element of like, oh my god, oh, this song. Yeah, this song. I know. So this is Kelly's outfit. She looks so cute. Love. Love. I got cat called. <laughs> I'm giving like woo, pretty woo. woman. Or whatever. Pretty woman. You know what I mean? Yeah, I love it a though. Little You'll feel good once we're in there, we're vibing. Like what is it? We're yin-yang yin right now. We're okay, okay, and la la la. amazingly we got home from the festival last night we literally had the best time like so many core memories odessa is just so fun like i'm so happy we went and lav was amazing lauv like he was so good vip really gets you like right up in front of the stage at god ball so it was definitely worth it like that's really great um but yeah so fun so grateful kelly got to come with me and we just had the best time truly we met up with brooke and ben i saw audrey and harry hill we just had a whole day and it was so fun um but i was in bed by 11 which is just amazing and unheard of sometimes with festivals it's hard to leave if you guys watch the stagecoach vlogs but today is sunday we are gonna have a great day. I have no like plans today. I just feel like today's gonna be a great day. I woke up, I did my doing well daily as you guys saw, which always puts me in a good mood. It's a planner I actually designed was doing well daily. Um, it's a daily planner each day, like a single day on each page. It's not dated so you can buy it at any time of the year and it's my favorite way to start the day. So I always have that link down below if you guys ever want to check it out. But um Ryan and I are gonna go to breakfast. We're gonna do a cute little Sunday breakfast moment. Um, and hopefully walk. I'd like to get some activity in today. I'm gonna use some Super Goop Glow Screen. And that was the Sunday Riley CEO Glow. Um, but we're either gonna go, I think, to Jack's wife, Frida, or uh, this place called Crispy Heaven in Tribeca that I've, I think it's like Tribeca-ish, maybe Soho, that I've been wanting to try because my friend Bridget acquired style has gone and it looked so good. Put some sunscreen on my shoulders. It was supposed to be like a cloudy, potentially rainy day today and it simply has not been. It looks sunny, so I'm happy about that. I'm gonna do my eyebrows. But yeah, Ryan and I are gonna go to breakfast and just see truly where the day takes us, which is a fun day. He mentioned wanting to go to the Yankees Red Sox game tonight. So I wanted to do like a Sunday reset, but I know how much he loves baseball and going to the Yankees game. And it is a fun 
summer activity. So I could be swayed. A little eye cream. This is from INN Beauty. I just have been trying their eye cream out because I've seen ads all over Instagram for this product here. Um, okay, just brush my teeth. Gonna wash my hands. Got sunscreen all over them. Should I take my dog ball wristband off? <laughs> Probably. I'm just wearing my ooh, outdoor voices exercise dress because it's like 74 degrees and it's beautiful outside. So I was like, let's just be easy here. It's not very fancy, but it's comfortable. It's cute. I'm gonna wear my Brooks sneakers and maybe go fanny pack and just be a comfy queen. If we go to Jack's wife Frida, it's a little bit fancier, but oh well. There it goes. I got these crew socks, also because of my friend Bridget, on Amazon. They're like the perfect length, and I love the little black and white stripe. So it's linked on my Amazon favorites, which is always linked down below, or in my link tree on Instagram and TikTok, um, under like clothes, I think, I think, or accessories or something. Into the closet we go. I'm gonna do my sneaks, because we want to be comfy with my foot inserts and all, baby. <laughs> I showered last night when I got back, which brings my total of showers yesterday to three. Yeah, you heard that right. That's very funny. I'm gonna use this. And I just realized I didn't shave my legs last night because I was like, oh, I actually didn't shower this morning, which is off brand. I've been showering like two to three times a day. I just love showering before bed too. So we're gonna use some Sol de Janeiro for men's up oil. Maybe it'll distract people from my hairy legs. All right, bags all packed. I, knowing Ryan and I, we we're gonna wanna like do something after breakfast because I love going for a walk after I eat. I think this was pretty cute. Sunglasses as a headband, telephone. Let's go have a good Sunday. We're at Urban Outfitters right now. I love this hat. Looking for a cool Yankees hat. I already have one, but. Oh, I love it. Ryan's in his paradise. So many hats. Ryan's taking forever. <laughs> He's tried on every single hat. <laughs> It's the little things in life, like when they have your favorite flavor of Gatorade, grape. Ryan just bought a hat too. Yep. For the Yankees game. Woo! We went shopping. It's not often that Ryan and I go to a store and we both buy things. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Ryan, one thing about Ryan, he loves Madewell because we found it last year. Not found it, but we went into the men's store in Brooklyn and they were having like the best sale and they had all like he like this shirt, like this one, <laughs> and a ton of other like really good basics. So now whenever he's like wanting new clothes, we'll go to Madewell. And so he got these two shorts for four dollars each. They're like short sleeve Henleys, which I thought were nice. So we got this one and a blue one, and then this shirt he's excited about he got for the Hamptons and just the summer in general. He wanted to get the white one, which he still might, but they didn't have it in his size, so he got the black one, but it actually kind of looked really good on mm -hmm. with like his khaki shorts, so catch Ryan wearing his new linen shirt. And then I am obsessed with Madewell tank tops, and I actually buy them, I'm usually like a small medium in tops, but I buy these in an extra, extra small because they like snatch you a little bit. So I got the white one, got the long one, and then black one, and then I've been wanting like a fun little white skirt for summer, and they had one. I wanted a maxi, and this one's like a midi, but I think it'll look cute with like sneakers and socks, or like sandals, so. And I think the white tank with this would just be a cute basic outfit. I'm loving Madewell lately. So that's the haul, and Ryan got a Yankees hat, because I guess we're going to the game tonight. Yep. Time to do some Sunday laundry. This is the detergent I've been using. I used it last year too, but then I became obsessed with the laundress, but then they had all the recalls, so we're back to this. This is Glamorous Wash. You can get it on Amazon. It makes your clothes smell real good, 
so. And I like how you can buy a big jug of it because it just makes it even easier. You don't have to repurchase it as much and then you can recycle this thing when you're done. Laundry's going, I just took a shower and I wanted to show you guys this like little moment with the white tank and the skirt. The whites are off, this is more of an off-white but it's so cute, I really like it. Now I'm sitting here, my bottom drawer is all like basic tees and then pajamas and t-shirts and this area just got out of hand. I'm clearly really into my basics right now, so I was like, let me just sit down and reorganize these. So I have my tank tops here, and I organized them, like refolded them, went through them, because I'm gonna bring some to Goodwill, actually. Um, so I have white, cream, we'll see how long this lasts, but this way, it's a lot easier when I get dressed, because if it's unorganized, I'm just gonna be chaotic when I'm getting dressed, so this looks good. I have these short sleeve t-shirts from Cuts I'm gonna attempt to fit in here, and then I still need to go through. These are supposed to be long sleeves, but I feel like, oh, that is a long sleeve. I feel like this kind of got out of hand. Actually, no, this is a tank top that needs to go over there, but yeah, so I have tank top, short sleeve, long sleeve. Doing pretty well. And with a little room to spare and I like could fit a couple more I always have to remember that I am currently doing laundry right now so <laughs> there's more to come but I love this just makes me so happy it's the little things the only things that didn't fit I'm just gonna store these away these are like my heat tech thermal long sleeves from Uniqlo that I will not be wearing until like at least November so I'm gonna store those away for now but just a little Sunday reset moment, you know. What I should do next is <laughs> this. I, it's so, I don't know why, but with activewear, I'm like, oh, maybe I'll wanna wear that set, but I feel like I constantly am wearing the same sets, so I probably should donate some to Goodwill as well. Ugh, but I'm so torn. I Let's just do it, I'm just gonna go through this. Okay, progress here. We've got all of my biker shorts here in one little row, all organized, I folded them, I basically, took the shorts and laid them out and then brought one in, two in, and then folded it up the middle, if that makes any sense. And then I've got tennis dresses and tennis skirts here. And then I'm gonna attempt to fit all of my like workout rompers right here. I am trying to be really good about packing this in so it's a nice, good fold. Okay, more progress. It doesn't look that good, but to me it feels a lot better because I know what's what. I think I have a couple rompers in the wash, so that'll be that. Organized all my leggings and like it's crazy because I was like I thought I had more Lululemon just like black leggings I did they were just all bunched up back there. So now they're all right here. I my favorite workout leggings are Story s-t-o-r-i and Lululemon and then um, oh and set active and then these are like flare leggings or yoga pants Some may call and then these are the colored ones like long pants and then these are bikers as you can see here um, okay, now to go for the sports bras. Yay, I have all of my black sports bras. Clearly, I just like to wear a lot of black sets. I find them to be super flattering. I feel good when I work out in them, so I'm just slowly acquiring those and getting rid of, like, my colorful ones. And active wear just after a while just gets gross, you know, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, all the black, two neutrals back there, gray, white, and then color. And then those are, like, a couple Lululemon long sleeves, and then two, like, workout tank tops instead of like crop top sports bra situation. So I am happy. I was really dreading doing this and I'm gonna have to do laundry and probably attempt to fit more in here, but for now, we're chilling. One last organizational thing I'm going to do and then going to the Yankees game. I got this bag from Ken's Customs. It came in, it came really fast even though I customized it. I think I saw Alex Earl like posted like her suitcase flat lay. And in it, she had a place for her bathing suits. Whenever I travel, I just throw my bathing suits in there. And I was like, this is actually cute. And when I store my bathing suits, as you guys know, it's kind of overflowing. This can be one extra little piece of organization. So I'm gonna fold up all these swimsuits and put them in here. This is the, I got the largest option and just customized it and wrote bikinis. But I just think it's such a cute idea. I wanna get one for like sunscreen too. Woohoo! all zipped up and I could definitely fit even more. This is so perfect for travel and just storage in general. It's so cute, I'm obsessed. I could probably fit those bathing suits in there too, but for now, I'm just gonna put them there. Looks so cute, I need to go through these again. But for now, we've got Yankees games to go to. So, feeling good, love a good Sunday reset. I've been sitting here hoping and waiting that I can leave right before I can take these out so I could put these in the dryer, but 
we're about to leave, so I don't think it's gonna happen. I have 19 minutes left. You guys know what I'm talking about. Give you guys a little Yankees game OOTD. Wearing my favorite Madewell top. They also have it cropped, which I also have, but I like this one too. It's just like comfortable. You can pull it up if you want, or you could tuck it in, whatever you want, which I love. Um, and I always have this on linked on my LTK, which is linked down below. Jeans are super old. They're from the brand Lioness. I got them on Princess Polly. And I also got them tailored to fit my waist better. So I'm never letting these go. Um, and, but I like them because they have like the split hem by the shoes. So it lays over my sneakers nicely. I'm wearing my Reebok sneakers. This hat, I cannot remember the name. Let me just look. Oh, La Ropa. La Ropa Clothing. Um, I think they have a store in Soho, or at least they used to. Maybe it was a pop-up. But La Ropa, and it was a collab with some brand. And it's like Yankees with like kisses on it. And then my bag is by far. It's just my go-to like white shoulder bag. So we're going. We're sitting in the bleachers. Super cheap seats. Highly suggest. It's really fun. And highly suggest. I've done it one other time last summer. But yeah, Ryan loves baseball. So I love baseball, and I think we're gonna try and go to this place, Billy's, beforehand, that you can like get a drink and snacks before the game. But obviously, I'm getting a hot dog when we get there. back from the game Yankees lost at the very end we, there was two extra innings I think or one extra inning yeah one extra inning anyways watching Sex and City now Ryan's working on his um he does like quarterly Instagram dumps so I'm supporting him through it and I'm folding laundry thank you so much again to Brooklyn and for sponsoring this video really love my new organic sheets so I'm really pumped about that okay I love you guys and I'll see you next time bye